Hey, Ruby. Uh-huh. I always wanted bunk beds as a kid. The Vital Festival! Oh, this is absolutely wonderful! I don't think I've ever seen you smile this much, Weiss. It's kind of weirding me out. How could you not smile? A festival dedicated to the cultures of the world. There will be dances, parades, a tournament. Oh, the amount of planning and organization that goes into this event is simply breathtaking. You really know how to take a good thing and make it sound boring. Quiet, you. Well, Weiss, you wanted to see the competition. And there it goes. Quick, we have to observe him. I'm combat ready. Forgive me, but you hardly look the part, says the girl wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Yeah. supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. But right now, they're still children. So why not let them play the part? It's your turn. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Stable my ground forces and simultaneously infiltrate my kingdom. Just know that I will not forget this declaration of war. And that means... You're just three moves away from conquering Remnant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fear the almighty power of my forces. Cower as they pillage your homes and weep as they take your children from your very arms. Trap card. Huh? Your armies have been destroyed. I hate this game of emotions we play. These strong wise will make it through this together. Shut up, don't touch me. You made a promise to me, to all of us, that you would let us know if something was wrong. So, Lake Belladonna, what is wrong? Doing good? Actually, Ruby, why don't you go with Ying? <laughs> After all, she is your sister. But I say we'd go with you then. Well, I guess Neptune could come with me. <laughs> nah. But, but... So I guess you got a new henchman. Yeah, I guess she really made our plans fall apart. <coughs> huh? No. Just no. What? But you do it. There's a time and a place for jokes. Was this not it? No, it just wasn't very good. Well, at least I'm trying. I need you to pick a tablecloth. Aren't they both the same? <sighs> I don't even know why I asked. I mean, Weiss came to the dance alone. Uh, what? Yeah, she said she had too much to focus on to worry about boys. <laughs> huh? You said you were embarrassed at first. What made you come talk to me? You're looking at him. You've got some good friends looking out for you. that this mangy, drooling mutt is going to live with us forever? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, I'll miss you so much. We're going to be best friends. I can't wait to see you again. Weiss, <laughs> are you awake? Of course I'm awake. You two are talking. And I think he... When I said I wanted to honor my family's name, I meant it, but... It's not what you think. I'm not stupid. I'm fully aware of what my father has done with the Schnee Dust Company. Since he took control, our business has operated in a moral gray area. That's putting it lightly. Which is why I feel the need to make things right. If I had taken a job in Atlas, 
It wouldn't have changed anything. My father was not the start of our name, and I refuse to let him be the end of it. Winter! Winter, I'm so happy to see you! Oh, your presence honors us. singing for a while. You know, I'm not sure that was proper form. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> I think it's to balance out all his hot air. <laughs> Klein? <laughs> oh, apologies, madam. There's my happy little snowflake. Thank you, Klein. Sorry about... I missed you so much. I missed you too. There, vomit boy. I believe in you. Oh, we're doing nickname throwbacks now. Wonderful. <laughs> I mean, the ice queen seems to like it. <laughs> I so did not miss you people. <gasps> oh my gosh, she really does like it. She will. Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake or more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. I would do anything for you three, and I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So when she's ready, I'll be there for her. And I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. What Professor Lionheart did was reprehensible. I am not here to argue differently. Oh, look at your little face. It's time to get my act together and go back to my roots. Oh, I can't wait to see you follow in your sister's footsteps. Absolutely. I've worked with Atlas forces before. I know their jargon. <clears throat> Argus Base, this is Manta 5-1. Feel free to gap off. Thought we were going to scrub due to FOD, but we're back up and green across the board. Over. <laughs> Manta 5-1, return to base immediately or you will be treated as hostile. Over. I thought you said you knew their jargon! <laughs> jargon was fine, but our pilots aren't elderly women. Oh, well, they got me there. Whew, my mind really is going. Why would you kids let me fly this thing? Calavera! You and those insolent children are up to something, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs>